Another trade that you did make is the CC Sabathia trade, and he comes over and gets the ball every three days, hits some home runs. Can you tell me just – I mean, that is like one of the cooler stories in recent baseball history, uh, free agent that came over to, to the Brewers and put it on the line even uh, for like, you know, that – month stretch or whatever do you have any fond memories of cc and and that was at 08 stretch let's give the numbers first it was 17 starts he went 11 and 2 with a 165 set he completed seven games and threw three shutouts i think he was taking the ball every three days too awesome <laughs> i'm so respectful of what he did i actually went to his uh, retirement dinner in, in new york nice. in september um it, our that was the turning point for our organization was was bringing him in because you know, when I bought the team, we had uh, literally had 11 or 12 seasons of losing in a row, had not been to the playoffs um, in, I think, mean, 26 years or something back to like the 80s and uh, early 80s. And it was it, it was so negative that the very first year we were at 500 because we traded for Carlos Lee. Push the, this is a uh, push the payroll from 22 million to 40 million. Whoa. <laughs> and, 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 uh, uh, so we're 500 and, you know, and then everybody's like, well, you still, you know, you still haven't won. You, you're not, you haven't lost for 12 years, but you still haven't won. And, and we kept getting put in the record of futility with other teams. Um, and then we started, you know, we, we, we took a step back in 06 and 07. We actually finally got to 82 and 80 and 1, but we couldn't get that 26 year, you know, 1982 monkey off the back. And and our players, you know, Ben Sheets and all the guys, got so tired of, of seeing the 82 Brewers and the, you know, so even things like like the, you know, the, the great ball and glove logo we went back to, the guys wanted their own identity, their own logo. We really couldn't get it till we brought you know, CC and, 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 you know, I give Doug Melvin credit for that because what, what he did is he said, look, uh, he's going to be a free agent. And by the way, they got Michael Brantley. So they, they did yes. okay in that trade. Yeah. But he said, um, we, you know, if we trade early, we won't not, not only won't get in the competition, but we might be able to have him for enough during the season that, that we can make a difference. And I believe the trade was done in late June. And, uh, you know, it's a was a brilliant idea, and it was executed. And CC came in, and he just put the team on his back. Uh, he started pitching every third day, and uh, you know his, his agent um, thought we were maybe taking advantage, and you know would call in Doug, and and we're like, hey, talk to CC. <laughs> you, know, you guys all know he's a big guy yes, yes. I'm a victory. I remember he put his hand in like you know <laughs> you you tell him he's not pitching every three days because we're not telling him that <laughs> and yeah. he just you know put the whole team on his back and uh at that that's where that was the transformational point in our organization uh and and I think all the success we've had since it all started uh with him so uh, I'll never forget it and one of the reasons I went to his retirement, besides being very fond of him and his family and uh, went to his retirement dinner and, you know, uh, was hoping to get him back this year in our 50th, this is our 50th season. This won't be the year to do it, obviously. But, uh, you know, and he, and people in Wisconsin just love him. Yes. For, for a guy who was there for three months, it was like he was there his whole career for how people feel about him. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we were, as Yankee fans, we were lucky enough to get CC, and I mean, I mean, an incredible personality. You mentioned his family at the end. I mean, they got entrenched. I mean, Amber and the kids, Amber, like they, yeah. they became part of the Yankees culture. Just uh, the perfect family. And uh, everything, when you're a fan watching the game, it's everything you want. He's an intense competitor. He'll do anything to win. Um, and he's left so many fond memories for us. 